All right, everyone, I'm going to share with you a uh, off-season and pre-contest protein source that I've been using uh, for the last five or six months now. Um, it's, uh, I posted about it. It's called Skinny Beef, and it's actually a 2% lean beef, so 98% lean. Uh, your common lean beast in the grocery store is about 96. This is 98, and as you can see, it's very red, almost like organ meat, like game organ meat. Um, it's pretty amazing. You'd think it'd be super dry, um, but it's actually not. And I'm gonna show you how I cook it specifically to not only keep it moist, but also to keep the integrity of the proteins, amino acids, etc. cetera. Uh, so I cook it at a very low heat. And I'm gonna actually bake it, I'm gonna show you how I do that and how I prepare it. Um, also, the cool thing is you can enjoy the benefits of beef in the off season um, if you're trying to stay leaner, keep the fat content low, you're still getting the benefits of beef as far as the mineral content, iron, zinc, B vitamins, creatine, etc. So, without all the saturated fat. Alright, so we have all the meat segmented out, and I'm going to do the seasoning now. So I'm just using black pepper, coarse Mediterranean sea salt, kernel seasoning is ranch, and a sriracha powder, which I found in the market. It's actually pretty good. So simple as that. And the beef has an actually really good flavor to it as well. It's grass-fed, of course, so it has, in my opinion, grass-fed is distinctly different than non-grass-fed beef, so it tastes naturally good anyway. And I think ranch is a good compliment for these kernel seasoning. Here's the sriracha seasoning. So the meat kind of looks funny. It's in little globs, as I call them. And I just do that, um, because I want the meat to cook very slow and I want it to um, uh, contain moisture inside to keep it moist because it's such a, a lean cut. So they aren't very pretty. You can probably pour them into like little balls or something like that, but I just kind of break it apart, spread it out evenly, and we're going to cook it um, in the oven initially. We're going to preheat the oven at 350. Put that in there to get that initial cooking process started for about, put the timer on about six minutes. And after six minutes, turn it down to low heat below about 180 degrees. Um, after 180 degrees, that's whenever uh, protein start denaturing and some of the good content in the meat starts degrading. So you're going to put it at 180 degrees and you're going to watch it very carefully and check on it, but it should be maybe 12 to 18 minutes depending on your oven after that. And you just want to make sure it's pink and juicy. It's going to cook a little bit after you take it out, so you want it, I like it a little bit pink. Um, you know, that's a little bit better to do it that way. And it's going to retain a lot of moisture and it tastes really good that way. So we're going to pop these in the oven and we'll show you what they look like when they're done. Alright, just pull these out of the oven. And I check them with a fork. And as long as I see a little bit of pink, um, that ensures that they're juicy. I actually personally would have taken these out uh, probably about three minutes earlier, but I like my things really kind of on the raw side. Um, but it was about 15 minutes on 180 degrees. Um, this is how it's done, this is how I do it. It tastes great. Uh, you know, for such a lean, high quality protein, it, it is extremely juicy and it can complement, you know, a variety of different things. Uh, you can combine it with your basic jasmine rice, potatoes, whatever. Uh, it's wonderful. And off-season pre-contest, if you're interested in Skinny Beef, uh, they ship all over and it's www.skinnybeef.com and you can use my code MPA for a discount. So, uh, it's a great product. I'd encourage you to just try it out. See if you like it. If you're trying to avoid beef for fat purposes, if it's too high in fat, if you have cholesterol, try it out and see what you think. So, uh, it's a great product.